Okay, here's lock, the- lock, lock. <laughs> You just don't wanna let- You just don't wanna let me start. So here's the deal. I was planning on doing this Door County Triathlon since last year, and then I was lazy and I didn't sign up in time. So then I was like, oh, bummer, it's sold out, I can't do it. And I just found out that I was able to buy a bib. So I'm not doing it. It's next week. I haven't really been training. I've been running a little bit. We biked once. I swam two weeks ago, but you know, this next week is gonna be a lot of, not like training aerobically, <laughs> because I can't really get much better in a week, but definitely training skill-wise with the swim and the bike. So we're gonna start that. And I've got my little bagel for fuel today, some coffee, it's gonna be great. Jer, are you gonna be my little coach? Absolutely. Absolutely. The best swimming coach there ever was. Yeah, and biking coach. I mean, I don't know about that. Who among us has fallen off the bike more? <laughs> definitely me. Okay, this is what we got. We got my little jammers from Janji, which I'm gonna be biking and running in. We're gonna put that underneath my wetsuit, which I shouldn't have brought because I wasn't gonna do the try because I didn't get in, but I did anyway, which is really nice. Ah, ha ha, look how beautiful. I've got my goggles and I've got my nose plug. Okay, I think that's everything. We're doing a little training swim bike run today. Very fun. I think I should wear these little booties. What about these gloves? Who's to say? We'll figure it out. So, it's definitely tight. Hopefully it's not cutting off my circulation. Hopefully I can still breathe. Jared's gonna go teach me how to swim. It's gonna be great. Very scary to know that I was a lifeguard once and I I know how to swim, but I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> okay, so that went pretty well. Just finished the swim. It's not very long. I just have to like make sure that I don't go too fast in the beginning and I lose my breath. And then the transition felt pretty good too. I mean, I didn't like actually transition to the bike yet, but just taking the wetsuit off, Pretty easy. I wish that Jared was gonna be there to take it off for me. You know, make things nice and simple. So now we're gonna do a little bit of a bike and I don't know exactly how long we'll go. It's only a 20 mile bike. Um, we'll probably do a little bit less than that, but it's a pretty flat terrain. Biking's not really my forte either. So you may ask, why are you doing a try? It's a good question. <laughs> Okay, so we're not exactly sure how long this bike is. It feels like we've been biking forever. We thought this was a 45 minute bike, like part of the triathlon, but we've been biking for like 45 minutes and we still have like, we think like eight miles to go. We're not sure. So my legs are on fire, but honestly, after like mile four, the legs started feeling much, much better. No idea if you can hear me or not. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm about a mile into my 5K. And y'all, my legs are high here. I guess I should have expected that after biking 18 or 20 miles, but whew, it's kind of a slow run. I can't go any faster. That's okay, we'll see what happens on race day. Sorry, the day kind of got away from me because we went to see a play with Jared's grandma, but I've had some time to think about my little triathlon prep today. The swim was surprisingly easy. I love a wetsuit, that's perfect. The bike, my inner thighs and my butt hurt quite badly. It's an 18 mile bike I found out and it wasn't bad. I definitely wasn't pushing it today and I'm interested in kind of like what that's gonna feel like on race day. But it was okay. But then the transition from the bike to the run is tough. I mean, like your body feels so warm because you've been moving for the past, you know, hour and change. So it's like nothing about like your joints feeling bad. It's mostly like all about like, I can't get my muscles to move. And then the last five minutes of my 5K, I, my quads were cramping. So just a little nervous that that's gonna happen when we actually get to race day. But overall, I'm excited. At least I know like after doing each of the things today that I can do it. I think the rest of the week, cause I do have a week from tomorrow, is just gonna be like doing technique stuff, learning a little bit more about bike technique, learning a little bit more about swim technique and then thinking about transitions and yeah, it'll be a fun time. You're a menace. These are hollyhocks. I've only ever seen them in Wisconsin and they're some of my favorite just because they're so cool in all different colors. Oh my goodness, how cute. I hate, hate, those are my sunglasses. Who names their giant yacht Night Fury? I mean, I love How to Train Your Dragon just as much as the next guy, but like, honestly, not Night Fury. I'd name it like Aragon or something. <laughs> I miss Meryl. Wait, Eden. Ew, don't eat that, gross. Uh -uh. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Big man in a tiny car. Am I being helpful? No. Okay, so I think the plan for the workout is a little. Are you talking to? Me? Are you? Are you talking to? Me? A little five mile bike, a three or two, two to three mile run, and then we're gonna do a little hit section at the end, a little upper body pump. You excited? 
Yeah, Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Ah. In case you didn't know, Jared is also Gollum. Oh, oh, daddy, please let me outside. Look at those crimps. Famous. What do you think? How was that? Oh, I thought you meant the crimps. No, no, no. Easy. Easy. Never done anything easier. We did seven miles on the bike. Mm -hmm. Easy. And then three miles on the run. Easy. Easy. And look how beautiful I didn't complain is. once. And now what are we going to do? Tabata. Push-ups. Bicep curls. Bicep curls. And push-ups. Okay. It's 425 on a Monday. I'm testing out our wine for our wedding. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, Marriage does change people. No, no. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Everybody give Happy birthday, birthday <laughs> to you. Okay, so I don't really feel like, oh, nice little cross right here. I don't really feel like exercising right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just need to practice swimming, so I'm gonna swim right outside. And I also just wanna practice. Hello! Sorry, I was interrupted by Jared. But I need to practice with the wetsuit, and I need to practice swimming in general, um, so we're gonna do it. Just 20 minutes, that's all it takes, right? Oh, this video is so tight. Who puts on sunscreen like that? <laughs> do it again, do what you're doing. <laughs> okay, please let it out. Just let it out. You're free! Okay, bye! I said he is a this is why. They call this carb loading. Okay, we're ready for this. You ready, Elise? No. <laughs> okay, a great pre-race day activity, we'll go karting. We're like wiggling a lot. Okay, so the race is tomorrow. I always do this, and I have, this is my first triathlon, but it's definitely not my first race or my first competition. And in prepping for a competition, I always kind of go a little overboard in not working out that week. My brain is just like, no, you don't want to do anything that will tax your legs, that will have a lingering effect or something like that. It's so stupid because I should have just done my typical workout routine and I would have been just fine for this try, especially because it's my first one, taking it easy, just want to have fun with it. But I really have not worked out a lot. I've just been on the bike a little bit. I've swam a little bit, gone for a short run with Jer, and I'm eating a lot of carbs today. I had some pasta for lunch, had some pancakes for breakfast, and pizza tonight. We'll see how the race goes tomorrow. It could rain, and it's very warm, but I'm just trying to have fun, trying to take the pressure off and be a good time. Let's do it. Okay, just getting all the equipment ready. There's so much to bring, and I'm trying to bring like kind of doubles of everything, so this is what we got. Okay, here's my wetsuit. I'm charging my Whoop. I've got a spare pair of clothes in there, and a spare pair of sunglasses and goggles. My rubber Birkenstocks. I've got my running shoes with two different pairs of socks. I've got my tights that I'm gonna wear, sunscreen, face sunscreen, anti-friction gel to get the wetsuit off. I don't know if I'll really need that. A running belt that I'm gonna wear for the bike as well that has like some shoes in here. I've got my helmet, all my tattoos that I have to put on tomorrow, my nose plug because you know, I'm a baby and I need a little nose plug when I'm swimming, but it helps. I'm not kidding. I get so much water in my nose. Um, my goggles, my sunglasses, and then a little water bottle that I'm gonna put this Gatorade in uh, that goes into my bike. Okay, so these little shoes that I got, they're the cliff blocks for during a race. And normally this would be like for like a longer triathlon. I probably do not need this, but in my practice sessions, because I haven't trained that much for this, I feel like I've been cramping a lot. Like I haven't necessarily had the glycogen to be able to withstand like about an hour and a half of work. So I'm gonna try to eat this on the bike so that I don't cramp up in the run because the run is my favorite part. I want to be able to push the run, but when I've been doing that in my training runs, I've been cramping up. Like my calves have been cramping, my quads have been cramping. So I'm gonna to try to eat, I'm gonna try and have that Gatorade and hopefully, I'm not gonna to eat too much, but hopefully that will help. And then secondly, I have always had a problem since I was a kid with getting water on my nose. Even when I breathe out a little bit when I'm swimming, I always get water on my nose. It happens all the time. So I got this little nose plug and it's so ugly. It's so ugly, but 
it helps me so much and my swimming is so much better. So I'm just, you know, I'm just doing it and I will maybe eventually figure out how to breathe through my nose or maybe I won't. That is my kind of kit for the triathlon tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. Mostly I'm just excited. I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna wake up at like five, meditate, eat a lot of oats, have coffee. And then I'll head over there. Wow, look how good this tattoo looks. Maybe I should get this permanent. I think they'd let me keep this number forever. I think they would. Okay, I'm on my last round of this workout of 10 rounds. So I'll show it to you and then we'll talk about it. Oh. First workout back after the try. Oh my God, give me a second. Okay, it felt pretty good. You know, oh, there's Meryl and Tucker. <laughs> so here's the thing. The workout was 10 rounds of six Russian kettlebell swings, six goblet squats, and then six goblet lunges. And then you did like a 600 meter run. I got about anywhere between, I started at 3.30 per round, and then I got down to 3.14 per round. It took me about 32 minutes. What was so interesting about the triathlon was that it was the first time that I've competed in a competition where cardio was my limiting factor. I've been doing private build for the past, you know, like three months. So I've been working my strength so much and I haven't been doing any cardio. And normally in a competition, strength is gonna be the thing that's limiting for me. So for the swim, that was really easy for me, surprisingly. I didn't get passed by anyone on the swim and I passed like 40 people. Uh, and I didn't try to, it just happened. I wasn't tired after the swim. The bike was really hard, but it wasn't hard like strength-wise, it was strength aerobically. And then when I got to the run, again, my legs actually felt pretty good. I didn't even have jello legs. I just didn't have the lungs to be able to push. So I got passed by one person on the run, which I was a little, mm. I passed by like 30 people on the bike. Um, but I was really happy with how it went for my first triathlon, especially because I'm not a biker, I'm not a swimmer. I wasn't very sore afterward. The day of and the day after, I didn't feel bad at all. And then my calves were pretty tight. And then my quads got a little tight last night. So it was good to move today. And I'm excited because I want to train for a high rocks, which is definitely a cardio based event. And so doing this workout, starting to do more cardio workouts again is fun. I like that a lot. So I'm going to be programming more of that, especially while we still have the summer. So that is my triathlon experience. I, I'm going to put it right here. So I have to stick to it. They have a half Ironman here. And I think I'm going to try and do that next year. It's a big, big commitment but it's always fun to find new challenges in fitness. So I'll do a high rocks. I'm gonna try and do the half Ironman next year. I don't think I got into the New York Marathon. I was trying really hard to find a team to be on and they're all filled. Bad of me for procrastinating that, but always finding new challenges. And I'm so grateful that y'all are coming along for it. It's very fun. Wedding is in a month, absolutely wild. We go back to New York this week and we'll be there for three weeks. We have a wedding in Maine, my friend Rosie, and then we'll be flying back to Green Bay and then it's wedding time. So let's do it. Thanks for watching y'all.